putting my hands in the dirt it just made me feel alive. My childhood was hard. We grew up really poor. We didn't speak English. Instead of playing with my brothers and sisters, I would plant with my mom and my grandma. When I was planting, everything that was going wrong in the world went away. My goal was to make sure that I could help my mom and dad. Always kept working with plants and then I actually started making stuff. Then all of a sudden I have this little plant and I'm just like, do you want to buy this? To be a small business owner isn't for the faint of heart. I would have to get up Saturday like at 3 o'clock in the morning to go set up by 7 a.m. and work the full day Saturday. It got to where we would sell out and I would actually have to go home and make more in the night to repack for the next day. When I came out to California, it was like I had a completely new palette of plants to work with. Succulents are a little more drought tolerant. They do conserve more water. Almost like art, you know, it's like you've been drawing with pencils your whole life and then all of a sudden you have colors that you can actually work with. Then after about two years, my partner was just like, you need a brick and mortar. To be a small business owner, there are so many different hats and titles that you're going to have to have. I kind of like do everything. Owner, gardener, hot mess. <laughs> I don't want to be a millionaire or a billionaire. I want to be happy, I want to pay my bills, but I also want to be able to be a good human to the people that I love. I'm not an artist because I don't paint things. I mean, I could be like a plant artist, but it doesn't really exist. So as far as title, it really is hard to say. I mean, I, the guy that likes plants.